now i'm not sure whether india even though they've announced their 11 players which has two spinners should they still go ahead and stick to that two spinners good evening everyone welcome to straight bat with gulf news and mr cricket ue that is ali sajan before we get get the today's match uh, over to ali ali sajan to take us through the days which was a damn squid thank you sham uh, good to have gautam also on the show as expected rain being a dampener or a spoil sport on the first day of the much awaited world test championship finals between india and new zealand we were all expecting and in front of our tv sets but the weather forecast had been already put on us on alert that there's going to be rain and i'm afraid the whole day's play has been called off uh, sham and gautam what a bad start to the first day yeah i mean see it is like your worst fears coming true uh, i don't know how often the the med department of uh, the uk go wrong but you know if uh, i was looking up uh, the, the next next five days uh, uh, you know the the infographic that they do i mean all of them are showing those rain and cloud icons maybe showing marginally less you know from today <laughs> <laughs> but uh, i don't know how much of a difference that's going to make but one thing is sure that it's going to be a rain affected test match which is uh, really a tragedy all right i remember during our preview we talked about the weather but we didn't expect it to be so bad but we knew that english weather is always fickle and we would expect the weather to change through all the day but we didn't expect a damn star uh they call it the ultimate test but and uh, it has been uh, it's been an ultimate letdown on the first day <laughs> so any thoughts going up from here because uh, uh, because this would this would have an impact on how the uh, on the of the conditions of the match uh, you would ex- expect some moisture in the air you expect the ball to move about so how do you uh, see the match going from here anis yeah sham you rightly mentioned that this is going to definitely affect the conditions i remember when the groundsman uh, was asked about how the pitch is going to behave he said that there is going to be spin and bounce if the wicket remains dry until wednesday it was around 30 degrees it was scorching heat and suddenly the weather changed on thursday and friday today where it was raining heavily and they as uh, mr gautam mentioned that there is rain predicted in the rest of the five days now i'm not sure whether india even though they've announced their 11 players which has two spinners should they still go ahead and stick to that two spinners because i remember in the last series in 2018 they had gone with two spinners and it was a dampener and india's uh, two spinners backfired uh, gautam your take on it yes see that's the interesting part i mean uh, india had shown a clear thinking as of yesterday but since the toss hasn't taken place new zealand of course are at liberty to they haven't announced their 11 india they they can do it but uh, i don't think virat will really walk that path i mean what the, what the sham feel about it i i think uh, they they will definitely change the squad it's my gut feeling simply because uh, i know shastri and uh, uh, and kohli would remember how they how they, they tactically made a bad choice during one of the tests which anis was mentioning uh, i mean that that really looked uh, reflected badly on them so but that would be very much in the back of their mind so i'm sure they see they have still not ha- the captains have not exchanged the uh, team list as yet so oh. india is st- still at liberty to make it, make changes to the team uh, so i would expect uh, one uh, one spinner to be dropped uh, uh, dropped to make way for a, a, a next up baseman and that would be siraj right sham you wanted siraj to be playing <laughs> <laughs> yes i in fact i wanted him to be in the team but but uh, and is why i would slightly differ with you on that and i would rather go with shardul you see uh, you got that's you got three quality yes, pacers yes. and and at number 7 you got a guy who can provide you with that uh, little spine in batting and he can he can move the ball i mean in these conditions I and mean, he could be your answer to random when well, you have but a point that, there that's my thinking you absolutely have a valid point gautam but as we had mentioned in our last discussion the problem with shardul thakur that his economy rate uh, in the long format is almost about 3 and he tends to bowl more loose balls than good balls whereas with grand home is that he bowls in the right channel now 
what do you want do you want a specialist bowler to ensure that you keep the one end tight or do you want to have a bowler who can give you a little bit of cushion with the bat i would rather go in with a specialist bowler and that's the reason i would go for siraj but we still are debating i'm not sure whether ravi shastri and virat kohli are going to first of all change the squad and go in for siraj instead of one of the spinners uh, sham i i would i would pitch in for uh, uh, for siraj simply because when you're choosing a bowler you are expecting a, uh, expecting the player to take wickets not take runs so uh, my always my logic is if your specialist batsman cannot get the runs then why are you banking on a bowler to get runs for you a bowler should be there to take the wickets for you so which is why i would plump for siraj all right so my question to both of you first let me go to gautam let's presume virat and ravi shastri decide to go for a fast bowler okay uh, and whether it is siraj or whether it is shardul thakur which spinner gautam do you think will india leave it out i think ashwin has to play ashwin has to play i mean you, you will be sacrificing on uh, you know the nagging length and accuracy of uh, uh, jadeja but if there is one spinner i would play ashwin what about you sham uh, i am uh, I, i'm quite undivided here i mean i i, I am pretty you put me in a pickle there because it's <laughs> difficult to choose between the two guys it's here. a difficult choice it's a difficult uh, yes choice. uh because one thing is uh, uh see uh, uh i mean jadeja is a wicket taker and also he takes the ball away from the batsman but having said that in a in a in a pitch where there is moisture uh, ashwin can be a handful so he could even come in first change and do do some damage i mean he is that kind of guy who could do that he he could uh, uh so in a in a condition like that where where there where there is not too much bite uh from the uh, in for, you know, from the pitch i think ashwin could could be more, more useful than jareja but having said that uh if i really have to make a choice as yes, i would go with uh, in this conditions uh, having the, the since there's been uh, rain uh i would go along with gautam i know it's not an easy choice but i think i'll go with gautam's choice there fair point even i probably feel that ashwin has probably got much more control uh and probably might be more decisive if there is bounce compared to jadeja and i believe uh, uh, new zealanders have at least three left handed batsmen starting from uh, devan conway and there yep. is a uh, a couple of more batsmen uh, who are left handers true right gautam yes 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 yeah i mean conway of course and uh, then uh, the lower order you also have yes letham is a right hander yep. but yes there are two more yeah yeah it's 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 i think uh, henry nicholas is also a left hander if i'm not wrong left hander anyways but now uh, i want to ask you both of you this point you know what is the objective of the indian team by announcing your playing 11 before the toss or before seeing the conditions or knowing what's happening in england because england is not like india because you know that it's going to be sunny the weather keeps changing so what are you trying to send out a message by announcing 11 and in case if they decided decide tomorrow to change the playing 11 what's the point in it uh, sham first and then gautam i think there's a bit of mind games also there uh that's the only thing i can see because uh because the captain is entitled to change the team right up till the toss basically before they exchange the uh, the list with the rival captain so two things here one could be sent, sending out what uh, they're thinking to the opposition camp uh, second second thing is when you announce the team you also inspire confidence in your teammates you so you know these guys are playing so they are, they are their minds are at rest but having said that they can do it quietly without announcing the team absolutely uh, gautam yeah no i see i don't think uh, i don't see anything wrong in you know naming a squad early because uh, i mean th- those who have covered the indian team in the past would know that you know they make a lot of issue about the playing 11 you know as if uh, they are it's a kind of da vinci code that they are letting out so this is this is a culture this is a culture which virat in fact uh, consciously tried to break away show that this is my thinking now having said that there should be you know no uh, ego issues that whatever we have thought is uh, cast in stone because uh, he did say in the in the press conference yesterday that you know my our thinking is not going to change but on a day to day basis how we are using these bowlers are going to change so 
this gives him an opportunity since there was no toss and uh, this can be done. I mean, uh, technically speaking, uh, there are countries like uh, and is by uh, Australia does it quite often. They are very, very, very categorical. They, they do uh, give out the squad before. Only, only the subcontinent teams have an issue about you know, giving out teams early. And I think this is very much Kohli. Like he is up. It's he's, he's in your face. He 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 is. Yes, uh, yes. He he uh, he uh, doesn't mind breaking the norms. He, he doesn't mind showing a hand uh, because uh, simply because he has absolute confidence in in himself as well as his own team. All right, it's a fair point. Uh, I I totally agree to you. But uh, now as we discussed that the conditions look different it, and imagine tomorrow morning when they turn up at the ground and it's seeming conditions. Uh, I, I, I feel that India should not be stubborn enough and go with their two spinners and probably back their seamers. And I wouldn't be surprised if New Zealand go with all seam attack. Uh, absolutely. Yes. Uh, that's a distinct possibility. Yeah. Gautam? The, the, yes. Yes. Yeah. Very much. I mean, I think we are spot on there. I mean, and also, bring in Matt Henry in the equation. And, uh, you know, because uh, there is quite a quite a bit of a possibility that it's going to be a low-scoring match now the way uh, the, the conditions have changed. So why not? I mean, this would be a very New Zealand-esque situation uh, where you know, four-pronged four pace attack will come real handy. Not just that the climate conditions are right up to uh, New Zealand Street, really, now. Yeah, it's going to be a tricky call. So my yeah. next question to both of you, for first Sham and then to Gautam, you win the toss, what do you do? Bowl first. And even if you go with two spinners? No, I wouldn't go with two spinners. I would go with one spinner and four for pace. Now suppose then... Virat Kohli sticks to it that I want to go with two spinners. I want to back Ashwin and Jadeja. I'm again putting in a spot. Then what do you do? I still bowl first, simply because, see, I don't want to bat last. You don't want to bat last, then how would you bowl first? No, if you bowl first, right. you'll have to bat last. Shan. Yeah, so I, I, what I meant was, uh, I, I want them to bat last. Okay, you want them to bat last, so you will yeah. take up the challenge which India did during Saurav Ganguly's tenure when they yeah. beat uh, England in England. It, I think it was at Leeds where Sanjay Bangar uh, may played that crucial wait, 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 I think you got my, I got my mind on. Uh, See, I would bowl first, basically, in the sense like I want to use the conditions. That's what I meant. You want to use the conditions? Yes. But with two spinners, if you have, you will yeah. still bowl first because of the condition. That's what you're saying, correct? Yes, absolutely. Because I trust my baseman. Absolutely. Gautam? No, I think I would, I would bite the bullet because in England, conditions change. So, you know, the, the lead stage that you were talking about in 2002, it's very clear in my mind because I was fortunate enough to be there in that test match. And that Bunga, okay. he played, um, you know, I mean, he was he was not the most uh, pleasant of batsmen to look at. But that you know, that two sessions that he wiled away and he got some 65, 67 runs. And then, of course, you had the Fab Four in action. And it was one of, uh, you know, one of uh, the epic Indian wins in, in those days in English conditions. Absolutely. And, and England had, England had, you know, they had Darren Goff, they had Andy Caddy, you know, so that was their pace attack that time. But, you, you know, you have to bite the bullet because it can, it can hurt you both ways. I mean, if, Absolutely. Sudden, if suddenly you are uh, 40 for three, then... <laughs> You know, the, the <laughs> legion of our Indian pundits will say that... Uh, why did you bat first? Yeah, yeah this, is, this is exactly my thinking. Because I'm sure if India is to bat first in these conditions, inside first five overs, we will have both our openers in the pavilion. <laughs> both are dashing openers with Rohit Sharma and Shubman Gil. As yes. much as you want them to leave the ball outside the off they might be tempted. Yeah. But nonetheless, yeah. we need to wait and watch what's going to happen, whether India is going to stick to, to spinners, whether India is going to change their mind, what is India going to do if they win the toss. The best thing is to lose the toss so that you're not put in a spot that you were asked to bat first, to bat uh, bowl first. Yeah, but that's a coward's way out. But I don't think Tony huh. Irvin mean, Kohli would want to do that because <laughs> he would want to win the toss like much like anybody else because I mean, he, he wants to uh, like you know throw down the gauntlet. So... 
I I would think he uh, he would want to win the toss. Anyway, we'll have to wait and watch. But I was just trying to, you know, off air. I was trying to talk to you all about my 2019 memories when I was there on England on a long tour uh, to see the World Cup and how rain played a spoiled sport. And I remember that match between India and New Zealand. The league match was called off. I don't remember the venue. Probably Gautam can show, throw light of which was that venue which where it was called off. Uh, no, not really. I mean, see, I, anyway. Uh, I, I was reading up somewhere that uh, Southampton four matches, four league matches had to be a quarter because of rains. I don't know if it's one of if it was one of them. No. Anyways, you know what? But that match played a very significant role in New Zealand making it to the knockouts. That was, there's a difference between one point between them and Pakistan, where they just sneak past Pakistan, and the rest is history. That they went on to play against India again in a rain affected semi final. And again, one more important stat I want to share with both of you because I was at the ground on that semi-final day, where, where you know New Zealand, who were put into uh, cloudy conditions, they managed to score to ten for five at the end of that day before the match was called off for their day because they had a reserve day. But had there not been a reserve day, India would have gone into the finals. And moreover, India was actually given a choice. Uh, this is just for all our fans to know. India was given a choice whether do you want to play a twenty-over game. And Virat Kohli and team rejected it, and I'm afraid that probably you know backfired on India because had they played on that day, you never know what would have happened. But it would have been difficult for the bowlers to grip the ball because it, the outfield was wet, and you never know what would have happened the next day. But rest is history, as you see, India were knocked out of the tournament on the next day. Yeah, yeah, but uh, looks like we yeah. have this. Uh, the rain has added a, an extra dimension to this test, and uh, a pity it will not be a, uh, what do you call a, a match of equals because this these conditions play right into New Zealand's hands. Uh, so that is my worry. Yes, absolutely. So uh, I mean, yeah, I I think uh, you know before before we wrap up for the day, I just try to pick your brains on one thing. So you will notice that Kohli said yesterday that you know uh, if we if we lose this test match, it's not going to be the end of the world. I'm looking at six test matches and it's a process. So do you think it's a it's a ploy of uh, deflecting pressure of his boys for a big game, or or what? Absolutely, is absolutely. Without saying, you know, it's easy to say that uh, I don't mind if I lose this uh, test match, which is the World Cup final. Come on, you would like to have. A trophy in your cabinet. There's 1.6 million dollars at stake, and more importantly, you know, Virat Kohli has nothing in his cabinet to show as an ICC. He's lost the ICC Champions Finals. He's lost the World Cup last year. So apart from the Under-19 World Cup, there's nothing to show in the cabinet. Okay, you have been the number one team on and off, but winning a title and then saying that probably no, I don't mind losing this. I'm looking at the long run. I'm afraid it's just a ploy which has been sent out to the opposition. Uh, Sham. Uh, I, I think it's also to take the pressure from the from his team because uh, he doesn't what doesn't want his part, part team to shoulder uh, have that kind of uh, uh, stress pressure. so that this is a must win game he doesn't want to get send out that feeling so I think this is basically aimed at his own team that this is not the end of the world we just go out and perform we do our best that is that is perhaps what he's trying to do with that statement and. No, but that's it. I mean, now I think it's basically basically time to look forward. The only the the intriguing uh, takeaway from today's discussion, I think, is you know, uh, I mean, and, and I'm sure the media media will go after it. Yeah, that will Virat Kohli change his playing eleven. I think that that will be the talking point uh, till this <laughs> is taken. And <laughs> I remember they both Shastri and Virat were heavily trolled in the Lord's Test match when they stuck to the two spinners in spite of heavy uh, overcast conditions. We'll have to wait and watch, guys. But uh, I just, these are these things happen. Now it happens to the best of the teams. But thing, uh, thing, uh, thing is, you have to try, and they they do gamble. Uh, so uh, I, I, I see. I don't think they would be ashamed by that mis mistake. They would have learned from it. So uh, everything is part of a learning curve for them. So as long as they have learned, Sham. As long as they have learned. But if you yes. stick to it, no, I have announced my squad, and I want to go with two spinners. In hindsight, uh, I'm not sure whether it's going to come and bite India. Yeah, let's. Uh, I mean, we, we, I mean, we, we. I mean, at least uh, some. At least uh, we feel that we they should go with four, four fast bowlers and a spinner. It's entirely up to them. Let's wait and find out, find out whether they will go or make a change. 
So All right. before we wind up, any any final, any final thoughts, Anis? Well, the only final thought, like Gautam mentioned, that he was watching the weather forecast. Instead of three droplets on that weather forecast, you could see one droplet. So we need to see whether that one droplet disappears and we get a start on time tomorrow, 1.30 p.m. UAE time. And of course, we want to inform all of our fans and uh, you know viewers on Gulf News that there is an extra day. So we will get that whole 90 overs covered in case we go the distance. Yeah, that's true. It's, so an extra day will kick in. So there will be five days of match if, if, if there's no further rains. Before we wind up, uh, since Gautam, you are our weatherman, what's the forecast for tomorrow? <laughs> no, I mean, I've been following their weatherman. I mean, what I see is, you know, still, I, I see the pictures of cloud as well as rains. I mean, the intensity is partly less from what, you know, our designer style work that I could make out. <laughs> but, and, and it runs still uh, throughout the week. Actually, there's not a day where they're showing the sun icon. So it could be, you know, in, in marginal degrees, like today it was pouring, so there was no chance. And, and when it when it stopped for about half an hour or 45 minutes, they said that there would be an inspection 6 p.m. Uh, UAE time, and then again it started. So immediately they called it. So that's it for today from us. Let's hope that the rains will stay away, and uh, let's also hope that it doesn't... Uh, tomorrow we will uh, get a full days of match. So, so stay tuned with us. Uh, log in to log on to golfnews.com, also on our Facebook and Instagram pages, and we will bring you the latest updates from Southampton. Thank you very much. Bye bye. <laughs>